Here are some of the stories we've been following on Chicago Works. Earth Hour 2009, a global initiative created by the World Wildlife Fund, took place worldwide on Saturday, March 28th. And international landmarks showed their support by turning off non-essential lighting for one hour to make a statement about conservation and climate change. More than 200 large buildings in Chicago participated in the event, dramatically changing the view of the skyline. So many Chicagoans, both citizens and business leaders, have embraced this event. Millions of people participated last year, and we're looking forward to even more this year. And uh, Chicago really was the first city, over 600,000, to embrace Earth Hour. So we really took Earth Hour global. Last year, more than 2.7 million adults across northern Illinois participated, did more than 1,000 businesses, with one of the largest Earth Hour events right here in Chicago. And this year, we're expecting even more people to participate. Earth Hour started in Sydney, Australia in 2007, and last year it spread worldwide. As the event continues to grow, the WWF hoped to reach 1 billion participants worldwide this year. The work week just got easier for riders who use the Chicago Transit Authority's Howard Station in the city's Rogers Park neighborhood. Three years after the CTA approved a $56.7 million contract to renovate the station, construction work is finally complete. City officials recently gathered to commemorate the occasion, which they hope will spark revitalization in the nearby neighborhood. For too many years, we had a station that really did not serve as a, a, a really nice message that we would send out to people who are coming into our, into our great city. And, but now we do. Now we have this crown jewel that uh, serves as a welcoming gateway to um, uh, Chicago residents and suburban residents alike, uh, encouraging people to um, use public transportation. This is an exciting day because as we go over to Howard Street uh, old uh, station, you wonder how we existed that long. And uh, as Joe pointed out, uh, this is a happy day, not only for this community, but for the entire city and metropolitan area. The overall renovation project included building a modern accessible station equipped with four newly installed elevators and two new escalators and renovating the station house and platform. Bike racks were added along with brighter lighting and new windbreaks and canopies to protect customers during bad weather. The new station house also provides a convenient connection between the station platforms and the multi-story parking garage and bus terminal on the west side of the station. In addition, the Howard Street Viaduct and retail space on the north side of the street were rehabilitated. Spring was in the air. At least it was in here, when Mayor and Mrs. Daly took some time on a recent afternoon to tour the City Escape Garden Center and Design Studio located at 3022 West Lake Street near Garfield Park. The rapidly growing garden center and landscape design firm started three years ago by entrepreneur Connie Rivera held an all-day garden festival featuring spring planting tips and healthy eating and cooking ideas. It's a wonderful facility here in Chicago on the west side and uh, she has a great uh, beginning of uh, spring uh, show here and uh, the, he's an entrepreneur uh, that has made a difference in the environmental movement and uh, this is a great opportunity for uh, citizens to come out and enjoy this wonderful uh, 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 garden center uh, that has so much to offer, interior designs as well and so I'm here to thank her with all the fear ready. Uh, here in the second ward, and so uh, this is something I'm truly proud of.